This is going to be a very rough edit video because I am so out of practice, but I have a new camera and she is stunning, okay? This beauty glow that it has on my face right now is really giving and doing its job. So, hey, <laughs> I am ready to stop being a goddamn loser, okay? That is kind of how I feel about myself when it comes to YouTube because I've been so lazy and my camera, my old camera was just so broken and awful that I really needed to get a new one and then I got a new one and I just haven't been filming and I'm like, dude, I fucking suck. Like what is wrong with me? And I forgot what it was like to film with a neighbor that has a fucking parakeet that will not shut the fuck up. So if you can hear that. I moved to my bedroom because the sound of the bird was just too much for me. I am having a hard time even getting through the fucking intro of this video. I cannot deal with a chirping parakeet on top of that. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, no, but for real, let's be serious. I know I haven't uploaded a video in six months and I am so sorry, but I swear I'm back. I am genuinely blind right now. I really cannot see anything. Um, last week, I got fitted for new contacts and they were like not the right fit for me and they gave my right eye like this insane eye infection where it like cut off the oxygen supply to my eye and then my eye got really red and then closed for three days. Like but definitely for two days my eye couldn't open and for the third day it could kind of open and now it's like on the mend but I'm too afraid to put contacts in it again so I'm just like living my life. <laughs> blind and blurry but like it's fine because at least i still have my eyes but it was like a little it was a little sketchy there for a second i wrote down notes and life updates for you guys and i have obviously the most important life update that you guys if you follow me on instagram you'd already know about but if you don't you guys you want to say hello Ooh. can you say hi to the camera this is Rory, everybody. Hi, Rory. I love you. He's my little baby boy. And this is Rosie. So everybody say hi to Rosie. Hi, baby. She's my pretty little lady. I got two cats, you guys. I got two cats and I'm sick and obsessed. I'm sick and obsessed with my cats. If you guys have been watching me for a while, Hello, this is me. Look at my new camera. It's so cute. I really needed a new camera, you guys, so I really leveled up. <laughs> and I got a white one. I got a white camera. Also, this is my favorite outfit. I figured I would wear my favorite outfit for you guys because this has been like what I've been wearing on the regular. I think that if I was like a Sims character or a cartoon, this is what I would want to be put in. It's like these black parachute pants. And this is my favorite top. This is my favorite top right now. It's from IMG. It has like these rhinestones, like this cutout. And I have finally discovered push-up bras, people. Look, doesn't it look like I actually have boobs? I got like the bombshell. Adds two cup sizes bra and it has genuinely been life-changing, okay? The universe knew better than to give me big tits because when I go out with a push-up bra on, like literally no one can tell me shit. It's like always the best days of my life, so we love that. Anyways, so these are my kitty bitties. Hey, Rory. Um, they're brother and sister. They're twins, obviously. Hi, Rosie. Um, so this is Rosie and Rory. They're my babies. I love them. Okay, so life is good. I'm good. I am turning 28 next week, you guys. I'm turning 28 next week. I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. I love it. I used to be really insecure about getting older, and now I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna be 28. Fuck yeah. I can't wait to turn 30. My dirty 30 is going to be unreal. Anyways, I figured that I would give you guys an apartment update because obviously you guys saw my move-in video of when I moved into this apartment, when I first moved to LA. So, it's not done. It's not done. It'll maybe never be done, but I've done a lot to it. When you walk through the front door, this is what you see. This is my living room. And 
This was the old headboard in my room, but I decided that I didn't want it as a headboard anymore. But like, I don't know if I wanna get rid of it or if I wanna keep it. So I basically just have it right here cause I don't know what else to do with it. So it's kind of cute. This part of my living room is like completely not done. Like I need to have art somewhere on this wall because like that will just make it look more done. Eventually I'll get a new couch. Eventually I'll get a new coffee table. Eventually there will be art. Eventually this room will be done, but for now we vibe. And then over on this wall, this is like the only finished wall of my living room, but I don't even know what to call this wall. It's kind of just like a little art wall that I made. So I have my wild neon light that you guys have seen from everywhere I've ever lived. I found these two chairs on the side of the street in my neighborhood. I have a little plant that I got from Trader Joe's and then I have this shelf of all this art that I love. And then over here, I have my full length mirror that maybe one day I'll mount on the wall. But for right now, she's gonna lean. And then the newest addition in my living room, I'm pretty sure is my bookcase. These are all from Ikea. It's actually three separate pieces, but you can buy them all three together. And I just like filled them in with like random bits of things that I already had. I'm gonna like obviously buy more stuff as time goes on. These are all the books that I've basically read in the last year, which is crazy because I used to never read. And yeah, I think that that looks cute. It'll look really cute once it's done. Um, this is a new bag that I bought myself for my birthday. I'm obsessed with it. If you guys know the brand, Misbehave, can you tell it has like this monogram nylon, it's really nice. Anyway, and then I have these two little coffee table books. This is a really good coffee table book. It just had, it was the best shoot ever. I love that photo. I bought this on Amazon. You guys can find it on Amazon. I think it was sold out for a while, but yeah. Fairy Tales, Patrick Collins, Alexa Demi. We love cute little coffee table books. I need to get a lot more of these types of books for this. I just am picky. I only want ones that I really like. Um, this is my dining room. This has kind of been done for a while. Obviously there's so many things that I can add, like a little like bar cart or something, like a console right there. This, like my Polaroid wall, one of them fell and I just like haven't rehung it. But my white birds of paradise are so big, you guys. So yes, and then I guess the only other updated room I have to show you guys is my bedroom, which is also not done, but it's definitely like made moves since when you last saw it. So this is my bed, it's all white. I got rid of those god awful lavender sheets cause I actually hated them so much. I don't know why I thought I liked lavender, but I really don't. I'm starting another Polaroid wall. You guys, I have four frames of Polaroids and I still had leftover Polaroids and I really miss taking photos. So I'm actually going to buy a new Polaroid camera and continue the legacy because I don't have any of me with black hair. And then I have this cute little laundry hamper that I bought from, I think the container store. So she's cute. I hung up some white curtains. So this chair and the mirror is from Impressions Vanity. I've always wanted an Impressions Vanity mirror. They're just literally like fucking amazing. Um, it has like, a little switch right here where you can turn the light on or you can dim it or turn it off and on. So I really like that. And then this is the mom desk from Ikea that I've always had. And then inside is just like all my makeup and stuff. Oh my God, I just like love a good makeup drawer. And then I have my closet that's like full of shit. I need to get like a dresser right here for this wall because I have drawers under my bed and I have this closet, but my closet like is kind of running out of space because I buy clothes. So <laughs> that was my little apartment update. It really probably seems like I haven't done that much, but I swear to you guys, like I just decorate really slowly. Like I don't understand how people move in somewhere and they decorate it like all in one go. I'm just like, not like that. Also like who has the money for that? Not me. So, <laughs> I also figured that I would show you guys some of my new favorite clothing pieces that I've bought maybe um, over the past few months. I basically only wear black now. I just feel like it really expresses how I feel on the inside. 
and I like wearing all black with black hair and I just feel like I'm in my soft goth era. Wow, this is like such old school videos of mine where I would sit and just talk about fucking clothes and I love it. So basically, okay, yes, actually let's go back to this bag because this was my birthday present to myself. I just bought this at the beginning of May. If you guys remember one of my vlogs from in, I think it was like October, I bought a new wallet. And this is basically the bag that matches it because if you can see, it kind of has like the same embossed detail on the nylon. And I just feel like such a woman with this bag. Like, I don't know. It just feels like cute to like have a nice bag to run on errands with. And I feel like my main thing is just to buy pieces that feel like if I was a bag, what would I look like? And I feel like I would look like this. So that is like my goal when I buy things now. I got a pair of sunglasses, these Prada sunglasses. Literally everyone and their fucking mother have them. Has them, I mean. Um, but I like them. And I feel like they suit me. Funny story, I wore these out at night once when I was drinking, bad idea, and I came home and I didn't fucking have them. And I was like, oh my God, where are they? And I even like called this person and I was like, can you go to the after party house and see if I left my sunglasses? He was like, nobody has seen them. And I was like, oh my God, someone stole my Prada sunglasses. Like I'm such an idiot. This is why I can't have nice things. And it turns out that when I came home that night and I was drunk, I put them back inside my sunglasses case. But when I woke up that morning, I just looked inside of my bag to see if they were there and they weren't. So I just assumed I had lost them, but really they were in my apartment the whole entire time. Like for three weeks, I thought that I had lost them and they were there. So that was really fun. I haven't had a problem like that ever since because I'm becoming less of an idiot. I like to believe. And then from Amazon, I know I just said that I was buying more practical things, but I saw these furry boots on Amazon and I was like, holy fuck, I have to have them. Obviously like the furry boot trend has been around for forever. And I did buy these like in November, but like, I think I'm gonna have them be like my summer boots because they just give me very snooky Jersey Shore vibes and I love myself a little bit of like a trashy moment. So you will see me wearing these all summer all summer okay i love them so much they come in a bunch of different colors but i was really vibing with this okay and they were 50 dollars, but i and i had to have them okay speaking of summer i got a new swimsuit and it's from skims this was my first Skims swimsuit and i do know they run small so i sized up in the bottoms and they are still a thong like look at the butt it's fine, I'm still gonna wear them, honestly. Like, I really don't give a fuck. I really do like how this swimsuit does fit, so that's at least good. Um, so it's black, and it has black rhinestones on it, and I think it's so fucking cute. Also, the packaging for skin stuff is so nice. And I really liked the cut of this top. It's like a micro bikini top that just also has the rhinestones. You guys will see me wear it in my vlog next week, I promise but it's like a thin strapped one. And I feel like this just looks really good on small boobs because a micro bikini top on small boobs just makes your boobs look bigger because it's like so small that it makes your boobs look big, if that makes sense. So I love that. See how everything's been black so far? Okay, so this piece is kind of sick. I thought I was going to be at EDC this weekend, but I canceled my plans. We'll talk about it in the Q&A. But I did buy this skirt for with like EDC in mind. I'm sure I can find somewhere else to wear it, but it's from Namelia. I'm so obsessed with it. I wanted it for a while. It's like a black, red and gray moto skirt and the butt says nasty. And I was just like, yes, this is me in a skirt. If I was a skirt, this would be me. And that is like my main goal when I buy clothes these days. Like I think if it embodies me, then I must own it. So last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is a sweatsuit that I actually, okay, so I did go to one music festival this year so far and I went to Rolling Loud, which is like so random because I did tell myself I would never go again after Rolling Loud gave me COVID and put me in the fucking hospital. But this year just seemed like a lot less aggressive and I really wanted to see Lil Wayne, which I did. He brought out Nicki Minaj, so it was so worth it. And their merch this year was literally the best festival merch I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Look at this hoodie, okay? It has cat hair on it, so like, please ignore. But this was the merch hoodie for Rolling Loud this year. Black with this cursive, but there's rhinestones all over it. Like, look at the sleeve and it has rhinestones. And then look at the back. 
Look at the back. Can you see? Holy shit, how sick is that? I was like, wow, this is really me if I was a fucking festival lineup hoodie. Are you kidding me? The only annoying thing was is that like, we ordered it at the festival thinking that they would ship it to our house right away, but it took two months to come. Two months to come. <laughs> so I only just got this sweatsuit. I got the matching sweatpants, but like, it's too hot to wear it now. Like it's summertime now. That was kind of crazy. So those are just some of the pieces that I've bought recently, just to give you guys a little like vibe check of my style and what I've been into lately. Let's do a Q and A. Okay, so to finish off this video, sorry, I know this is a long one, but like I have a lot to say, which is really good because there was a point where I felt like I had nothing to say ever. So like this is improvement. So first question, a lot of you guys asked, how am I doing? I'm doing really well, um, really well. Obviously, if you guys have been watching my channel, things got a little sketchy for a while, but I've been really good for a long time. Um, I just work a lot during the week and then I have weekends off where I usually go and like socialize with friends um, and that is pretty much the cycle of my life. I'm definitely pretty bored of that though. I feel like I've been socializing way too much and I miss spending time alone. Like I miss the old routine of like when I used to spend a lot of time alone on weekends and just kind of like have that time to myself. I just felt more at peace with myself when I was like that. Even though I love my friends and I tried so hard to make such a good friend group and social circle here in LA, I feel like I've accomplished that. So I'm okay to like take a step away from it now. Somebody also asked, where are you going on holiday this summer? So I have two planned trips this summer, but I always do things last minute. I'm sure that I'll go on some random adventures, but as of right now, I'm going on my birthday trip next weekend. You guys will see where that is. I'm gonna leave it as a big surprise. I've been wanting to go to this place for years, it's been on a bucket list and I like put in a lot of effort to like plan to go here. Um, and it's outdoorsy. I'm so excited to get out of the city and like be in nature. So like that's this next weekend. And then from June 24th to July 8th, I'm actually going to be in New York City and upstate New York. So for two weeks, a really long time, I'm spending in New York partially for work and partially for fun. So if anybody wants to hang out while I'm in New York, Hit me up, slide in the DMs. Did you keep any habits from the 75 hard challenge that you did? I still read every week, almost every day. The reading challenge of 75 hard was very impactful for me. I've read more books, like I said, in the past year than I have since high school. So reading for sure stuck. And somebody also asked, what kind of cats do I have? My cats are tabby cats. I don't really know exactly the breed. Um, I, they're not anything specific. I just like basically found a girl giving them away on Instagram and I slid in and I was like, I need to have these cats. So I didn't like buy them or anything like that. They weren't bred. Um, they just were technically rescues. So yeah. Okay, and then somebody asked, how has it been living in LA? I just hit my two year anniversary of living in LA, which is insane. Time flies, time goes by so fucking fast. I feel like, I can't believe it's already been two years. It like feels like a really long time, but it also feels really like not that long. Um, I love living in LA. Unpopular opinion, I feel like nobody really says this. I love LA, I think that it's so, fucking fun and young, the weather is amazing, there's always something to do. It's great for like your 20s. I think that LA is an amazing city to be in for your 20s. Like there's music, there's events, there's fashion, there's, you know, there's like sports. Anything that you wanna do is here, which is also probably one of the downfalls of LA is that it can be really distracting. Like there is always something fun to do. So it's kind of like, you can get really caught up in your social life and not focus on either like your health or your career or your hobbies. It can be really hard. There's definitely tough moments. You definitely realize that you're like a little fish in a big, big, big pond with tons of other fish and fucking sharks and whales and like you couldn't even imagine what else. Um, but there's so much opportunity as well. Like it's crazy. And I think that a lot of people talk shit on LA 
like the people that move here, like they have a hard time making friends or that people are fake or whatever. I think that like you can make the best of it obviously and just don't give people the time of day. Like if you meet shitty people, don't like give them any of your time. I've definitely met some shitty people, but I also have met some really amazing people and you will meet shitty people anywhere you live, literally anywhere you live. Um, I need to wrap it up because I only have two minutes left and I have been chatting for a really long time. You guys probably don't even give a fuck. Okay, somebody asked, what's your favorite thing about having black hair and what's your favorite thing about having blonde hair? So I like my style with black hair because I just like wearing black and red and I feel like intense and kind of like goth, but I really liked how platinum made me feel, I'm not gonna lie. I will probably probably be platinum at some point in my life again. Not for a while, but like, I'll, I have to do it again. Any upcoming festivals? You guys, I keep planning and canceling festivals. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was supposed to be at EDC Las Vegas right now. Like, as you were watching this, I was supposed to be at EDC Las Vegas. I canceled it, like, at the beginning of the week because I was like, I just cannot fucking go. Like, it just sounds like way too much. And then I was supposed to go to Coachella, but I was like, the lineup's genuinely trash. Besides Frank Ocean, who bombed, so glad that I didn't go, even though Fortet and um, Fred again and Skrillex genuinely looked life-changing, but um, I was like, the lineup is just so trash besides that, like, I just don't care to go. So I canceled that. And I really, 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 really want to go to Lost Lands in Shambhala or Shambhala or Sh Sh Shambhala. Shambhala. I'm just going to say Shambhala. I've always wanted to go. I've also always wanted to go to Lost Lands. So if anybody wants me wants to add me to their rave group for those, I will be so happy. That's pretty much it, you guys. So much more to come. I have my birthday vlog next week. I'm back. We have things happening. Please let me know what videos you guys want to see from me. Um, I am going to get a podcast mic and just do some like sit down chatty kind of videos because I need those in my life for me because those are like what I like to watch. So, and we have a lot to talk about you guys. I've been through a lot in the past year. I have a lot to share. Okay. Um, but definitely let me know what videos you want to see from me. I don't even know what people post on YouTube anymore. To be honest, it feels like it kind of died, but I'm going to do my thing. And it's going to be so much fun. So I miss you guys so much. If you guys still care to watch my videos, thank you so much. I'm sorry that I was gone for so long. Um, but I'm back and better than ever.